This is Ubuntu 14.04 uh, Beta 2 running on a computer with two uh, Intel Xeon uh, E5 2637 version 2 at 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, there are four uh, CPU cores in each processor and there are two processors and they have hyperthreading so they show up as in total 16 processors and these are i7 architecture and the memory speed is the highest I could find uh, I'm running here with Blade RF and this video is to show a little bit about CPU affinity uh, Linrad at this state it's uh, Linrad 04.00 or maybe .01 it's somewhere in between uh, has a lot of workload for the first FFT and I'm running here will be running in FM mode and FM mode is very inefficient it's use ATAN2 the Arcus Tangus tangent uh, for each and every uh, data point at something like maybe 500 kilohertz and that's taking a lot of CPU resources so I will start the program that will be X lean rad 64 because this is a 64 bit system. The hardware is Blade RF, and I show by pressing U the setup. It is running at 35 megahertz, as you can see here. So the bandwidth is 35 megahertz and there is a converter so I will see the FM band now X and X and E to start in FM mode and here are all the FM stations I can click on <coughs> one of them Uh, at this time I could not do that let's see X P I can make an easier window I go from a sign window to an unwindowed uh, FFT like that And then it works. Um, back parameters and assign window again. And suddenly it works. It is very close to the limit. Uh. And you can hear suddenly it doesn't work. So, uh, this is very close to the limit of what is possible on this computer under Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, so, uh, the purpose of this video is to show a little thing you can do here. Escape and look into the file. Uh, the Joe editor is very nice. And the file is called, called uh, 
uh, affinity.c and then I go to the top of the file and say use affinity save and I go down here control C and build the new linrod sixty four bit and it's always important to spell correctly and then run this and go back and listen again that's E you can see here this is a matrix about how the CPU cores are allocated to different threads there are two heavy threads here one is the first FFT it has number 9 and just now it's running on this processor and that one also now it moved like here and here this is the processor and up here is the hyperthreading companion it has. And there are two uh, CPUs. So thread 9 is running on one and here and thread number 10 which is the FM detector is running uh, on the other CPU. So it's a core inside another CPU, so they will have different memory uh, buses and everything is completely separate. Now as you can hear, there are no problems, it runs smoothly. I will have to install the uh, GNOME uh, system monitor to demonstrate more in detail what is happening. Now the system monitor is running. You can see the CPU load comes close to 100%. I stop it here, escape, and make X linrod and run and E and click on something here. And what will happen now? Uh, the load looks lower here, but sometimes it hits the roof. And we can see right now, well, Ah, here is a problem, because it hits the ceiling. So there is some advantage on controlling the thread, uh, the core 
the CPU core affinity to threads. But the advantage is small and there are complications like running several instances of Linrod one would have to make them aware of each other's uh, CPU allocations and uh, it would be desirable to control all the other programs running on the same computer so this becomes a big problem but you can hear now we had a problem and it stays for a while so if one wants to push uh, these functions are inside Linrod but are disabled in the standard version now I have mode to Fedora 20 uh, I'm copying the entire directory from the Ubuntu 14.04 uh, installation I have it mounted here These computers are always very, what do you call it, picky. Dot star to here. And then we might be able to use the already compiled version of Xlinrod. I'm not so sure, I didn't try that before. No. So I have to recompile it because uh, the libraries are a little bit different in this installation. Uh, and I have to run configure first because otherwise it wouldn't compile properly. Compilation time is not very long on this uh, modern computer. And so I, as a demonstration, leave this video running all the time while compilation goes on. I will just change the user here. Uh, S user root and password. And it's already compiled, so let's run it. Slash XLENRAD. Parameters uh, 64. Parameters are now identical to what I had under Ubuntu. And that's E. And here we are running är identifierad men polisen är förtegen och vill inte ge fler uppgifter ett större område där det är avspärrat att polisen ska göra en teknisk undersökning. This runs det will get the system monitor. Sveriges radio P4. System. Yeah. släcker världen för klimatet då kan P4 Live nu vara ett fint sällskap för dig i mörkret. Ja, varför inte tända några levande ljus, krypa ner i bästa fåtöljen och lyfta till en konsert med Melissa Horn från hennes vinterturné okay. som startade redan i oktober och som lett henne genom både Sverige, Norge, Finland och Danmark. Now, efter this Fedora is running för en månad sedan with its scheduler. And you heard there was a problem when I was moving around the system monitor window, but uh, this scheduler is a little bit more clever, it seems, or maybe not. I have to wait a little bit more. And when recording this, 
I don't remember the percentage numbers that appeared on the Ubuntu, but I have a feeling they were a little bit higher. And the crit critical thing is, does it ever reach 100% here? Yes, it does. And where is the load? Text. It's on CPU 10. It runs at 99% and now it goes down. So the load is elsewhere. It's now here. No, no longer. Now it's here. And you can see it reaches 100% but not very often. I will enable the uh, uh, thread affinity thing. So, and then I have to exit, escape, and compile. Maybe I did it recently, and then run, and E, and listen to something. Nej, ja, det var inte. Det var Linus Svensson som, ja. som är jägare. Det, det ryktas som att Bengt så dyker upp senare i programmet. Ryktas då. Okej. Okay. Men i, i, i ryktet som går. Ja, men några som redan är här, ni hör ju, det är Henrik Jonsson och eh, Jenny Stöfsson. Now we might compare the maximum load with the maximum load that was present when running the Ubuntu. The pattern is different. And I think it is a little bit more stable. Very small differences. That was not very good, but we didn't have any error. Och det blir så spännande här när ni möter P3s morgondrottning har skrivit om det. Allting låter väldigt konstigt. But the final conclusion of all this is it's not worth it to worry about the thread affinities. It adds a lot of complexity and that is not the right way to go, I think. Tack, underbart.